Hello and welcome to the Art Department Podcast. It's me again, Jan Osho, here in Singapore and in San Francisco, uh, Emmanuel Chu. And we're at episode 24 and we have a very special episode. Um, it's kind of an interview, but it's also uh, an exploration into um, a mentorship that you can see a lot online these days. There's anything from like a sh short four week mentorship to like really long drawn out mentorships. And um, we wanted to kind of illuminate a little bit what it takes to be a mentor and what it takes to be a mentee. So we have both sides of um, that relationship today on the podcast, because uh, as I understand it, Emmanuel has been mentoring Scott for quite a while now. But um, for all the details, I, of course, let uh, Emmanuel speak and, of course, Scott speak as well. So why don't you uh, introduce us to our new guest today? Yeah. So, uh, you know, like I said, with every uh, guest we have on the show, really want to have a good impact. And I thought Scott would be a, a really good addition uh, as a guest because I think he could shed a lot of light uh, and we've known each other for a while now. Um, I mean, obviously, I'll let him get into the details. Uh, but I think, it, you know, like you said, Jan, just want to see uh, a lot of people had questions on mentoring and how to find a mentor and mentees and all this kind of stuff. And we'll dive into all of that. Uh, and, and through Scott, we're definitely... Um, are going to hear a lot about it. And, uh, you know, I want to congratulate him on his uh, first job. So this is, you know, I, I, uh, for me, it's, it's, it's a, it's a long, it, it's been a long road and, and the podcast come at the perfect time because now, you know, we're seeing in at, you know, he got his first job. So, but I'll let him get into the details of that. So without further ado, uh, meet, Scott Gessler. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about just sort of, uh, you know, it's just you don't have, you know, not like some of the other guests that have like 20 years of background, but why don't you tell us a little bit about, you know, sort of where it all began? Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, thanks for so much for having me. Uh, I'm super psyched to be on this. Uh, I, uh, I mean, I've, I've always been a creature guy, always super into, uh, grew up with like the aliens predators jurassic park star wars that was like that was my whole childhood um and i just i i always knew that like i wanted to go in that direction i loved drawing monsters i was always the kid in class getting in trouble for drawing on his homework and uh and i guess the i i ended up graduating high school and knew i wanted to pursue something in in that direction and i guess i wasn't really sure uh, how to go about that at the time. Um, and I, part of me wasn't really sure if, uh, if it was something that I could do. I mean, I, you know, I had all these art of books from different stuff, from the different movies. I grew up with like the original or not the original, the uh, prequel Star Wars mm -hmm. episode one, two, and three. So I had all the art books for them. And, and there was a big piece of me that was like, always like, no, there's no way you're ever going to be able to like draw this stuff and be up to that, you know, that caliber and uh, so after high school, like I, I kind of did some community college stuff. I, I worked at a van store doing retail for years. I just am not really sure what if, if that was a direction that I could go in and be like, you know, successful in. And uh, and um, at the same time, I have uh, I had some like medical issues. I have something called cystic fibrosis and. In a nutshell, it's uh, it's a terminal lung disease. The average life expectancy is about 35. So I spent like a lot of time, I guess, dwelling on time and like stressing about, you know, where do I invest like a, a chunk of my life? Where do I invest that like post high school, college mm. stuff? And, uh, and yeah, so I, I, I got to a point where I was like, okay, I like, I want to go to art school. I want to make the best of whatever time I have left. I want to like pursue that. And, uh, at the time I was in and out of the hospital, like I was hospitalized probably up to like 10 times a year. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I, I, uh, coming from Santa Cruz, California, I wanted to, 
I have my eye on Nomen mm -hmm. down in LA and uh, Art Center. Mm -hmm. And I was just with, with all the, the balls I was juggling at the time between my health, yeah. looking for a new school, you know, the relocation that would come with that. Um, I ended up going to a school in San Francisco mm -hmm. and just purely based on the fact that it was in close proximity yeah. to Stanford, the hospital I usually go to. Mm -hmm. And it, I guess like from the, the little research that I did, it was, uh, they had an illustration program and they had mentioned on the website that it was, you know, the, the direction to go if you were pursuing concept art. Oh. So I thought, great. All right. That'll, that'll do. And, uh, Got, I got one semester under my belt, and that semester, their like initial illustration major program was very much. Uh, it was it was it was a lot of creature stuff. The, the, all the assignments that we were getting, and all the you know all the stuff we were studying was like all these mythical creatures and all this all this stuff that was right up my alley. So I was all psyched. Mm -hmm. And the next year and a half were really went in a direction that I wasn't looking for at all. Um, a lot of the classes were very much in the editorial mm -hmm. direction and nothing concept design related mm -hmm. really at all. Um, so fast forward, I was, I was there for two and a half years and my, uh, in my third year I, I met uh, uh, Emmanuel's wife, Stacy, oh, okay. Stacy Tang. And, uh, she was teaching a digital painting class mm -hmm. and I took it really wanting to get some exposure to Photoshop up until then. I had virtually no, mm -hmm. no experience with any of the digital programs. And, uh, so yeah, I just, I, I took that class and day one, I was psyched. I was so stoked. And from then on out, it just like, I, I just, I learned so much and I was so excited to be there every day. And, um, you know, hearing like, Stacy's background and and uh, I was just so excited to just like give 110% of my focus on that class and like ignore all the other ones that I was taking. Uh, and then Emmanuel came in one day to do a presentation oh. and just kind of show his stuff and talk to us and like that just opened my eyes even wider. <laughs> um, so yeah, that uh, and then that kind of me and Stacy's relationship developed and and. Uh, she ended up introducing me to Emmanuel after the after his initial initial presentation in her class, and uh, and we, you know, I, I had expressed to to both of them that I really just wasn't happy with the direction that you know that mm. the school that I was in was going in, and I was really ready. I was this close to just jumping ship and like heading down to art center <laughs> and yeah. just saying, you know, I'll I'll deal with the medical stuff once I'm down there. And, uh, and Stacy and Emmanuel kind of just said like, there's, you know, there are mentorship programs. Would you, you know, they offered to train me and to, to work with me and get me up to where I wanted to be. And, uh, and I, I jumped on it. I was, I was so excited to learn and keep like getting exposed to the stuff that I just got a taste of in Stacy's mm -hmm. class. And, uh, yeah, and then it just kind of, it kind of took off from there. I've been working with Emmanuel for, what, a year and a half mm -hmm. now, I want to say. Um, yeah, and, and I just, I, the, the stuff that I've learned studying under him is nowhere near the stuff I would have been learning yeah. if I had, you know, stayed at that one school. And um, so it was, it was cool. It's it, like, I, I don't think I had really an idea of what I mean I knew I was getting myself into but I didn't realize the all the, the stuff that goes into yeah, yeah. not just the technical aspect mm. of creating the stuff but but the actual design right uh, philosophy and all the you know all the thoughts that go into it it's it's funny because obviously yeah <laughs> He's he's not gonna come on and talk crap about, <laughs> about what happened, but but I think there's a lot more than obviously, uh, you know that's a that's a sort of a brief breakdown. Um, but I it'd be interesting to hear uh, what you were thinking when um, 
remember when we first spoke, you were still going to school, and basically yeah. you had two semesters left. I had one. And, well, I mean, when we oh, first yeah. talked, you know, because you took yeah. Stacy's class twice. Yeah. Uh, see, I remember all this. <laughs> yeah, we did. Um, yeah. But the thing is, which is interesting, was that he um, he, he had essentially a semester left, and and he asked me, well, you know, do I finish? Uh, do I not? I mean, what were you thinking at that point? Yeah, like, I guess I definitely had a moment when we had that conversation and you talked to me about, about like, possibly leaving. Um, there was, like, a brief moment of hesitation as far as, like, I, I guess this just pre-established notion of, like, no, you go to high school and then you go to college and you need a degree. Like, you have to have that degree to go anywhere. And, and you know, that's what all my friends were doing with whatever you know, path they were pursuing. And, uh, and, but again, that was for a second because the longer I talked to Emmanuel and the more, the more conversations we had, it was, you know, he really just expressed that like it's portfolio, like the world that you're going in is all about portfolio. That's what anyone's going to look at. It's, you know, an art degree from a college that's an illustration degree that that's, that is focused not at all on what you you know, the direction you want to go in isn't going to carry a whole lot of weight. Um, and I, like, I, I, once that, like, once I kind of, like, wrapped my head around that and, like, I, I, I had zero regrets walking away from, from the school. I was excited. Uh, there wasn't, there, there wasn't and has never been an ounce of doubt or, like, you know, looking back on that at all. You know, um, the school he was going to is also very expensive. So yeah. another semester would have been like, mm -hmm. you know, there was living expenses, there was, you know, tuition. And and when I saw Scott, I, you know, what I thought was, well, okay, we, we, we're pretty much starting from scratch. Wow. I mean, aside from the fact that Scott liked to draw uh, and, and understood drawing, that, that was really the extent. So we were starting from scratch and, and I thought, well, there's no time to waste. Like, why spend another X amount of dollars and X amount of months on that, you know? Um, so I said, well, you know, and, 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 you know, I might be jumping it a little bit by saying, okay, yeah. I mean, on my, on my front, I mean, I, I believe in, uh, I believe in fate and I believe in the people you meet for a reason. So I, I have to be honest, I don't typically take on mentees. Um, I just, I don't, uh, because I, it's just too much work. And so people, it's just way too much. People work. don't confuse yeah. this, right? We are not selling anything here on this podcast. We're not selling Emmanuel's mentorship <laughs> seats or anything, right? Yeah. There's no, um, yeah, there's no mentorship to sell. This is nothing like <laughs> that. I mean, also to, to kind of just, uh, I think set the tone here a little bit is that, I mean, I think mentorship is, is being thrown around as a word quite a lot these days, especially for, for, I mean, we have tutorials for short stuff. We have, I don't know, instructional videos, YouTube, and there's usually then the next level, which kind of people understand or ad advertise as a mentorship, which is like, I don't know, anywhere from four to eight weeks, pre-recorded videos, mm -hmm. um, watching that. And, uh, but I'm, I'm, I really don't see that as as mentorship. So I think a mentorship is really like a more old school. Um, well, you have a mentor that really guides you like one on one for a longer period of time. Um, uh, whereas whatever is online is more like, I don't know what you whatever you want to call it, like a workshop or crash course or boot yeah, camp workshop, kind of I thing, think is a right? So what we're yeah. talking about here really is like a long term guided path uh, to to learn the ins and outs um of of whatever job it is you you want to do i'm i'm actually quite interested to to hear about i mean so i'm looking at scott's portfolio that's running in the background um and it's great but what made you i mean what made you think that Emmanuel can teach you because i mean his 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 stuff is good <laughs> But it's, I feel like he, Emmanuel doesn't do anything with creatures. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not trying to say that you're bad or anything, but no, that's it's like, like no, that's, you, that's you, he, your portfolio is very different from, 
from uh, Emmanuel's in a in in just in terms of the topics, right? I mean, stylistically and in in terms of the well, design and everything, it's solid, right? But still, like, how would you? I mean, I I think I would be a bit scared to be honest uh, if somebody would come to me and ask me like, "Hey, I want to be a creature or character designer. Can you mentor me?" And I'm like, I would be very hesitant to to take this person's money because what do what do I know about anatomy? I mean, nothing. Well, why don't I let Scott answer that first, and then I'll go. Yeah, yeah, I um, I, I guess I just I trusted him from the get go. Like I knew I saw his art. I knew he was like he knew the world. I know he knew, um, you know he he knew the the things to get me started. The you know introducing me to ZBrush, mm -hmm. um, telling me what like videos or, or guys to watch on YouTube to start getting a sense of things. And I guess the biggest thing I've learned from him is like design is design. I mean, like the, mm. the philosophy behind it kind of, mm. it kind of translates, yeah. you know, from whether it's creatures or buildings or bridges or, you know, it's, there is kind of that foundation that, uh, that I didn't have at all. I, I had no sense mm. of what design was beyond me drawing whatever I thought was cool. Mm. Um, and yeah, I just, I, like, I knew he had amazing work. Like I, I, I saw the, you know, the stuff that he brought into Stacy's class that first day and like my jaw hit the floor. I was like, that is so cool. I want to, I, I will listen to anything this guy <laughs> has to mm -hmm. say, like, I, why wouldn't I, why wouldn't I, you know, give him my full trust and attention? And, uh, you know, there were, uh, he, he introduced me, he has introduced me to some, to some creature artists mm. who have, you know, kind of been able to like give me feedback and critiques and, and, uh, it's been awesome. It's, it, uh, I, yeah, I, I guess I just, I, I never had any hesitation. I mean, I, I hear what you're saying. Like I, maybe I should have, but, no, but I, I just never did. I mean, did you, did you uh, look <laughs> online maybe for, I don't know, famous creature designers, uh, and ask them like for help or for advice or anything before? I mean, I, I didn't. And I guess part of that was, was being when I was doing this, when I was going through the, the motions of the illustration program and doing all this, these editorial assignments one after another. And in conjunction to that, I was in and out of the hospital. I had, I mean, I had an IV, I had a home IV thing in my arm for probably 75% of the time I was at that college. Uh -huh. And so when I was thinking about going to art center or Noman or starting to pursue that, like, there was a big part of me. It was just like, no, you know what? Like you mm. have invested this time in this illustration program. Maybe this is what you're going to do now. You're just going to like tough it out. Mm. You're going to see mm. where this goes. And, uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I didn't think, I thought it was kind of too late to start. Uh, you know, it's a very so common I thing I think among humans that, um, uh, it's the sunk cost fallacy that you kind of see what you already have invested and you kind of, want to continue along that path it, but really all that matters is what lies ahead of you um so that, that was very interesting yeah, but I, very I, understandable i think um and it, cool. it, it, and, and it must be said that it takes a lot of courage oh, yeah. to actually a, be able to at the last semester say yeah, yeah, i'm yeah, out yeah, really uh that i i don't honestly i i have to say that well from my point of view um the a, a big reason of why I took Scott on was because his you know his willingness to trust and to just kind of go out on a limb, but at the same time his work ethic, I mm. I, I did not doubt and and for me, at that point in my life, I said I'm not going to jump into another mentorship. It just it drains you, mm. uh, and my last one was with John Guzzi, and you know it's was great, but it, you know, you give so much mm. of you that at some point I just, I needed to take a break. Mm. Um, but when you meet someone, you meet someone, right. And first, and, and, you know, I asked that question, I was, so he wants to be a creature. I mean, I remember talking to Stacy as like, he wants to be a creature guy. <laughs> what the hell do I know about creature design? But I also knew that Scott really was starting from scratch, meaning he really didn't understand sort of lighting, composition. He really didn't have a big grasp on design. 
um, on even some of the tools that were available. Uh, it's just he wasn't taught any of this. So I felt that I could take him to a certain level because all that, you know, like painting a form is painting a form, right? Uh, uh, you know, sculpting, making a sculpt, having the right proportions is having the right proportions. And I could get him enough to where I could help him to the point where he can understand sort of basic design and, and creature design because I can dissect that for him. And in turn, I actually learned a lot about creature design. <laughs> but I, I have 20 years of experience that I can take something and dissect mm. it because of the experience that that can work. And I can sort of dissect it and help because it's like working with any athlete, right? Because, you know, Michael Jordan's coach wasn't as good as Michael Jordan. And maybe he didn't even understand everything about the game, but he understood how to get Michael Jordan to work. Mm. And, and sometimes that's enough to a certain point. And in table tennis, I had it where I, I uh, uh, you know, from beginner, I, I had a coach and the intermediate, I had another and then advanced, mm -hmm. I had another. So it was like I had a, uh, there's different people to take you different places. Mm. And so my plan was to get him those basic skills like solid. And then I introduced him to a senior creature guy. Mm -hmm. right? uh, and, and I, had you know, and and we can you know, uh, uh, Carl was his name, Carl, um, and we got to give him a lot of credit uh, for you know because he came on and he just wanted to give, give back, and I, and that is incredible. Um, so, you know, he, and then it was checking with him, and then I also uh, uh, put his portfolio out to get feedback from a lot of different artists. So. It was all a combination of all these things, and I would take their feedback and go, "Okay, this is what's happening." But at the end, you know, the mentorship was opened up to Carl, who had assignments for him, who drilled him on things, and then we'd work on things that he would need to learn, like basic. Uh, I mean, you, you know, we were talking from scratch, right? So just you know, anything from. Uh, but granted, a lot of see the mentorship is not something like a like a hand holding exercise. It's more like Hey Scott, you need to learn Blender and ZBrush. Uh, here's how to get you started. Here are some places I would look. But he did all the hard work when it came to that. I mean, the main thing was I. I mean, I did the. I got the easy work because what he would do is show me something, and I would say, "Well, that doesn't look right." But as a as a mentor, you have to know enough to go. It doesn't look right here's where you can look to find the answers because you always want them to find the answers because that's the only thing they can rely on because if they're constantly relying on you for answers, they'll never be able to do a job. So oh. I'm always trying to, to show like how to, um, how to take something and dissect, analyze. And when you can really do that, then you can solve any problem. Um, so, a mentorship is, you know, that's for me it was so it was less about sort of hardcore creature stuff and more about also looking at Scott and working with him as a person, as a friend, you know, even it's just kind of like you're looking like what are they going through mentally, emotionally, what are they going through physically? And you kind of have to put it all together. And and uh, it's 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 quite an interesting journey because, you know, I I, the reason I didn't teach was because I said, you know what, I've done the teaching thing. I'm super not patient. Like I, I'm a crappy teacher. I don't want to teach. I, I know, right? So I'm not going to subject people <laughs> to, 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 to a class of, you know, like, you know, me being impatient. But, um, you know, mentoring is different because you really learn how to deal with that one person. Um, and, and it's, to me, that's, that's, I mean, it's a great question you asked because I mean, I really asked my wife, I was like, wow, should I do this? I mean, like, come on. And that's not my strength. But the funny thing is it got me stronger in that area, <laughs> like just kind of out of my, cause when I said, I'll mentor you, that meant I, I basically went back to school, but my going back to school is I started drawing watching, listening, dissecting myself, what it's all about before I could actually talk to him about what it's all about. Um, and 
you know, that was, you know, but I, I took it on because of Scott. And, and, I, and I, the reason I, 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 I'm sort of talking about this more is because I feel like, uh, in my opinion, and, and I w definitely want to hear yours, Jan, after this, like your opinion on this is, you know, there's no set rule to find a men mentor, mm. you know, like uh, I, I think it's for me, it just happens upon whether it's meant to be. Hmm. And I listen to my gut hmm. a lot. So that that's kind of what Scott did. You know, he kind of, I mean, at that time, he didn't know enough really to kind of question too many things. I think he was just like, wow, okay, there's a, you know, if you're in a dark room and there's a little bit of light, hmm. you're going to go to that light. And, but that's, you know, it, you know, meant to be, you know, and, and obviously something worked hmm. because otherwise you're not going to see what you're seeing on that screen. I mean, his hard work and his ethic and my gut was what got me to mm. do it because I knew it was going to be like at least a year long commitment. Right. Especially, you know, he had a lot of uh, hospitalization in between that. Mm. And and, uh, you know, it wasn't easy for him. Uh, but, you know, I, I mean. Leave it to the guy to be in hospital with an iPad texting me and going, well, I'm drawing, you know, <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm always telling him to stop and rest. But, you know, the how do you not want to help someone like mm. that? That's my question. And and I, I guess I will ask you that question is, you know, Jan, do you, you know, what do you think? How do you find a mentor? Is there is there such a thing? I mean, the, the thing is, right, I've I've actually... I never thought about like seeking one out um, like really like a mentor as in like I, I really want that person to like get me to the next level. I always I always kind of relied on my own uh, on myself to to kind of uh, get where I wanted to go. Um, and and uh, but now I'm, I'm thinking a lot about like because I, I get requests of like um, Mm -hmm. people asking me wanting mentorships um and I, I never i never quite know how to respond because usually um what i feel like is l lacking is exactly that commitment and um the ethic to to work really like to work hard and to to have the right mindset usually when people approach me i feel like i'm just getting like oh can you tell me which software to download can you tell me which tutorial to watch um and and that has really nothing to do with uh, with a mentorship um how to find one i mean like you said I, I think there's a lot of good points here where it's not so much about trying to look at like some person's portfolio and saying like oh i i love the i love your brush strokes can you teach me that right that that is <laughs> that is the wrong approach right like oh i want to be like you can you like can you make me like a, a, a copy of yourself but i think um it's far more important and I, I don't know if I want to call it fate or whatever. Um, there, there's certainly like a coincidence here, not coincidence, but like a certain, like it would be interesting to see what Scott would have done if he would have went to art center, because if he wouldn't have gone to the other school, then he wouldn't have met Stacy. He wouldn't have met you. Then wouldn't have met the decision and what's so on. Like it would, be, it would have been interesting to see like, okay, he went to, he went to art center and, and went through the program there. And, and now he's, doing x i don't know i mean it would have been interesting experiment right um but so it's really it's really about i think um getting a feeling for that other person um, and developing a certain amount of trust and finding finding similarities in the way you approach work and uh, think about work um and i think that that counts that accounts for far more than trying to find somebody like who's exact he do who's doing exactly the thing that you want to do mm -hmm. and it's, yeah. it's a good point yeah. that you said yeah. i mean like at, at, at the early stages you need a different kind of teacher than necessarily like a super hardcore creature guy um mm -hmm. you, you need some and i was of, very you know. capable of of um letting go um of the reins to say hey Carl, take it to the next level mm. it, because I trust mm. him and I trust that, that, that kind of a, uh, but I, I also knew that, um, with Scott, I knew that time was of an issue and, and I had to tailor our mentorship so that we can go the fastest we could. Mm. Now that meant 
um, bypassing some skills. Mm. Right. I mean, it meant it meant like glossing over some things that I would have liked to, you know, have mm. him do more of. But it also meant like, hey, you know, we do this enough to get you hired. And once you're hired, that's when the real learning mm. begins. But I, I had to because, you know, some of us can go, well, OK, maybe we can, uh, you know, I can learn how to draw and spend 10 years mm. doing that. I mean, you know, to be honest, you know. Every minute counts, especially for mm -hmm. Scott. And and I think it's it's nothing to shy away from. It's a reality, mm -hmm. and it's something that you know in, you know to him is like I really work want to work on films because that's what I've dreamed of, and that would make me really happy. So that was their goal, mm -hmm. which you know coincidentally has just happened. Mm -hmm. Like you know, which you know I've told him today that. You know, I'm super proud of oh, that and it's happening. Uh, and, and it's, you know, oh. who would have guessed a year and a half ago? You know, but I, I, I want to ask Scott, like, what, what do you think when it comes to, you know, all the stuff that I said, you know, because, you know, I, I went really in, in depth into sort of my way of thinking when you were going through it. What were you feeling or thinking at that time? I mean, you know, I definitely felt like it was intense. Um, Are you trying to say I'm intense? No, like just the, just the, you know, the, the, <laughs> and I am <laughs> the, the, um, just, I guess the, the amount of absorbing that I was doing, you know, of, of information and, and, <clears throat> and the, you know, getting, getting things wrong a million times in a row, you know, and, 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 or, or having things look look wrong for weeks on end, and then finally realizing, like, oh, okay, like I see what it's do, you know, what it's what he's what he's going at. Um, you know, a lot of those moments kind of just, I don't know, like they, it, it, it 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 was intense, but it wasn't bad at all. Like I I I, in, I have thoroughly enjoyed like every minute of the last like year and a half, and there's been a lot of frustration um on just directed at myself like i i i'm uh i'm like definitely my own worst critic and i'm i'm constantly trying to like uh i don't know i guess just not only like please him because i want you know i really want to like make sure i'm giving things that are worth showing to him but i i it's a lot of it is just like trying to make something that like for myself, I realize is like better than something I was doing a month ago. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's been, it's been fun. It's just, uh, there's been a lot of like just personal development beyond the art and uh, yeah. Did you have a, Does what that, would you oh, say ahead, to yeah, um, other, sorry, what would you say to other people who are, you know, in that position of trying to find a mentor and they, they're like kind of they don't know where to go they're frustrated like you because i know you are very hard on yourself yeah. i mean way harder wow. than i was on him uh what would you say to somebody like that you know yeah i mean i guess first of all like figure out what you want because that was my biggest mistake like not you know not knowing exactly what i wanted at the time um so figure out what you want and I guess just make, make connections, try to like develop, you know, and, and I guess it's, I don't know as far as like reaching out online, if it's developing a relationship with somebody through emails back and forth. Um, but I guess I can only give the advice of what I experienced, which was like being lucky enough to have Stacy's class and to converse with her, you know, once a week and you know, and get handed off. Um, but yeah, you, I just, you know I, that that wasn't luck, right? Because it was the way you came across to Stacy that she came home to tell me about you and then for me to listen to you. I mean, it was your personality, which I'm trying to say is a big, big thing. It's, you know, if, if you had to go back to the year and a half ago to, you know, why at the beginning you know, when you're still at school, what would your advice be to yourself? 
I, I mean, I would say it's just like as far as like pursuing the mentorship. Well, I mean, you know, or... just even you know, in your mentality, or, or I mean, obviously we know that obviously that school wasn't the right place. But aside from that, I mean, would you, would you, what well, would you just say to yourself? It's okay. You'll find it. You know, what 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 kind of encouragement would you give to yourself? Yeah, I mean. I would definitely say like, it's okay. You're going to find it. You're going to make it work. And I mean, that's what I did tell myself, like to once I saw like Stacy's background and the stuff she was doing, like I, I was like, you're, you you got to go for it. Like you got to like, you got to pursue, you know, any connection that you can and you got to work hard. Like that's the biggest thing. <clears throat> like I, I neglected so many other classes the two semesters that I had with Stacy because I pumped 110% into that class. And um, yeah, I mean, I guess it's it's not luck. Uh, it is hard work. And it's not just, it's not hard work for a month or two and then slacking off. Like it takes like dedication and like you got to keep moving your personal goalpost farther and farther if you want to like keep developing and growing and and uh, I mean, that was my biggest thing. Like I, I was constantly trying to, I guess, just like not only like imp you know impress her to a degree, but like impress myself. You know, like I wanted. We had all these like uh, study. Her first semester was like doing study things of, of like you know, metal, there was like a picture of a chain and we had to, to digitally paint that image and where there was a candle and there was all these things. And, and uh, just every freaking assignment, I was like, I got to do better than the one I turned in before. And, and just that mentality, like that carried all the way to what we're working on now. And so I, I just, I think it's like always trying to be like the freaking best you can. And and showing that, you know, like not just doing it in your room, not talking to anybody, like you got to like make it known that like I want to work my ass off like and I'm here to do it. So, I mean, and did you have a question? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm just wondering. So um, we, we talk a lot about um, about, of course, like what happens in your in your in your mind and w the kind of attitudes you have to have. And that's great. Um, I'm I'm a bit curious because I think a lot of especially younger younger artists um I if you can share a little bit about I mean the, the circumstances um in in your life or whatever like how how did you for example how much time did you dedicate to to this mentorship um and w was there like a, a need to um I don't know, like work like odd jobs all the time to support yourself or I mean, maybe maybe you live still with with your parents. I don't know. Um, or like was there was there like a lot of hurdles to convince your parents to say like, uh, like, I want to do this and not something else. Uh, they were pretty much on board the first night. I told them, <laughs> hey, I think I want to I think I want to leave school one semester shy. Yeah. Uh, they like, I have the most supportive per parents on the planet and I'm lucky to have that. Um, yeah, so I, I ended up just moving after school. I moved back with mm. them and, uh, cause I wanted to give 110%. Mm -hmm. I've been working, uh, at least nine hour days, you know, Monday through Saturday for oh. the most part. And, uh, because I just, I just, I wanted to give everything I had mm. to it. And, and as, and again, like time was a factor like I just I I, I always want to be moving and progressing forward and you know taking that mentality day by day the, did, did you did your goals change now that you actually I mean so we, we talked about the whole progress and now um, Emmanuel mentioned you you actually got a job and I, I'm assuming it's still under NDA so we can't really talk about it but um, yeah. And so you finally made that and, and like, I don't know, what are you, what are your feelings of like having gone through like, uh, well, a lot of study and a lot of mentorship and now you're actually on, on a project, like, well, I don't know what, what, what's going through your mind. I mean, it must be pretty, pretty weird in, in a way to, to now be doing this and somebody's paying you. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, 
And I was just listening to your guys' uh, imposter <laughs> from the podcast. And that one, that one hit so hard yeah. like, with me because um, I'm definitely feeling that. Like, it's, there's definitely a degree of like, oh, man, am I in over my head? And at the same time, like, I'm just I'm so over the moon excited mm -hmm. and, and just like even more driven now, which I didn't think was possible. Mm -hmm. But like, I'm just more dedicated to maybe push it to like 12 hour days for weeks on end and like yeah it's just it's 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 kicked up my drive to like That's to great. just keep going yeah and what and this is where i came in to say please don't do that because i've been trying to tell him to chill out a little bit because you know and and, and i think this is good for a lot of people it's, it's not like uh put in solid time use it to your best of your ability but it doesn't mean that you put in 12, 14, 16 hours that you neglect your sleep uh, and all that. Uh, that is actually going to be really bad for you. And we've talked about this a lot, Scott, yeah. you and I, because I mean, Scott just uh, had a surgery about a month ago, oh, okay. um, you know, for his, for his nasal passage. And, 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 you know, it was a sort of one of those things of CF. But the thing is, you know, you got to give your body time to heal. Um, and especially for people who have some kind of illness or, or, or problem physically or mentally, uh, you got to take extra care of your body for it to work. You can't just run it ragged. Um, and Scott definitely, were, there were times when he would run it ragged. And, and it wasn't good because in the end, you actually produce worse stuff. Mm. Um, uh, but, you know, I will say that that is be careful to do that because dedicated means, you know, focusing. Right. Tell me, uh, you know, what, what are some of the hardest things that you had to go through through this whole mentorship? Like, did you ever think of like, oh, God, I got to quit this. I can't deal with it or anything. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I mean, I never had I never had those moments of I can't handle this. Um, I guess there was like there was a lot of uh, of mental health aspects that came up, like, and I think that you know, a majority of that was coming from the the hospitalizations and and being so so sick for you know for so long, uh, and then at the same time, like having this like you know desire to work as hard as I could and and and. Uh, it just just the stress that kind of came from trying to balance the two things, you know, and and uh, I was really, really bad. Like, and I want to say, I think I can safely say, like, up until I met Emmanuel, who like deeply instilled the necessity of like rest. Um, but up until then, I I would always put like my my art and my work and like my desire to progress like above my health. Um, and above my mental health, and like that's that's not good. Mm -hmm. That's not something that anybody should ever do. I feel like you know, if anybody has any issues physically, mentally, like that comes first. Your body comes first. Your you know your health comes first. And uh, and it was it was kind of a relief to like have a mentor and like have a relationship with somebody who who got that and who got me to see mm -hmm. that. Um, I think everybody, yeah, yeah, everybody's body should come first. No, like nobody should grind <laughs> themselves to death. Hel like if you're, if you're, if you're generally healthy or not, um, I think it's always the golden rule to do that. Yeah, but it's yeah. it's easy it's easy to say mm. that because I'm I'm even I'm. Oh yeah, everybody, it, everybody know. is. Uh, everybody. It's just one of those things where you know, um, it's hard, it's hard to you know say, oh, you know, I'm going to look at the big picture. But, you know, I mean, thankfully, I, 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 I come from the table tennis and sport world. So, you, you know, that you have to rest. If you don't rest, you're not going to be as sharp. Mm -hmm. And that's all there is to it. Um, and I, I, you know, I just think that for 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 Scott, I mean, you know, for, for, again, for the people who are looking for mentors, um, just remember uh, a mentor, like Jan said, is, is not really 
sort of this workshop mentality of a, of a guy. You know, a lot of people call those mentorships. But to me, a mentor is somebody who takes you on personally, who gets you and who can look at it from your point of view and help you through some things. And a lot of times it may not even be art related. It, it, a lot of times it's life related. Mm -hmm. and, and that's part of being a mentor. Uh, and you can't put a price on that, you know. Um, and, and I think that, uh, for a lot of people who think, well, you know, like, cause I get a lot of emails like you, mm. Jan, who's just, I, oh, hey, I want a mentor, man. And, you know, how do I do this? You know, how do I find somebody like that? And I'm like, well, first you have to have the right attitude mm. to me, in my opinion, uh, all, all the people I've mentored, I don't think I've ever picked one with a wrong attitude. Mm. And if I did, I, I've let them go very early not because anything more than I just think it's not working out for me. Mm -hmm. Um, and it has to work out for me because I'm putting a lot of my life into this. Um, and finding a mentor is, is timing is all those things, but just make sure that you're really ready for it. Um, because if you're not and you don't have the right attitude, uh, to be ready, then, then, you know, you're going to get rejected sometimes. Uh, but look at that rejection and say, hey, you know, maybe I'm not ready. Mm. Uh, why am I not ready? Uh, and try again. Because, no, you know, if Scott would have just quit, uh, you know, like kind of, I, you mm. know, he's not probably not going to be interested. I'm not going to ask, you know, uh, but then we would have never gone down this journey. And he wouldn't have been on the podcast. True. <laughs> not, see, that's the highlight right there, man. Exactly. Year and a half. That's the highlight. I mean, it, but I mean, you know, that's, I mean, I, I, I think that. Um, is there anything you want to say to other people that are in or, or were in your position that, you know, any message you want to give them? Yeah. Um, I mean, I like, I, I say go for it. Like if you, if you have something else that like you're weighing against, you know, an, um, whether it's a mentorship or, or an opportunity that takes you in the direction that you want to go, um, go for it. But like, make sure you're ready to give it a hundred percent, you know, like it's, it's, it's gotta be something that like you are sure that you want and you know that you're prepared to like take the steps and, and do whatever it's going to take to like, to, 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 to get the most out of it that you can for yourself. You know, that's what, what, what if someone was to ask you, Hey, I, I don't know how to find a mentor. How do I find one? I, I mean, I don't know. Like, I guess the, I mean, I see all these things on like gum road and stuff and, and it's to me, like you said, they're more workshops there or tutorials, but they're not, they're not mentorships. Like it's, and, and I honestly, if I hadn't met you and Stacy, I don't know what I would have done. I mean, just started spam emailing you know, people that I liked in the industry who were doing, you know, what I liked. Uh, but beyond that, like, I, I, I wouldn't really know what to do. I think, I think for people who are, for people who are at, you know, places like Art Center or, um, or wherever, you know, in any, any place where you're like in a actual school where you are interfacing with like teachers that are doing what you want to do, like, talk to them like stay after class and like get to know them and 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 just like like it's that's got to be your whole world you know and i just i think just building that relationship and just like showing them that like you're hungry and that you want that um that's that's i mean that's that's really all i can think of as far as like you know trying to establish that relationship how do you, I mean, I'm, I'm wondering, uh, th there's two, two questions I, 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 I still have um, in the yeah. back of my head. And I mean, so one is that, I mean, we've kind of talked a little bit about uh, finding a mentor and like, it's, it's, I think it's, it's, yeah, it's part of, it's, I think it's still part luck and it's, it's, it's timing and, um, but it's also, again, the usual thing, like be prepared when, when an opportunity arises, right? Um, and you can you you will show that through your personality, like Emmanuel mentioned uh, that Scott showed that, um, and and Stacy recommended him. But like I mean, the stars don't always align, right? So um, you have you you have uh, 
you have reached out to people, but for some reason, nobody wants to take you on. Um, all the people that you look up to and that you think would be great teachers, they don't want to teach you um, or they like either they don't teach at all or they they are fully booked or whatever. Like, I don't know, like how, how maybe it's a question to both of you, like what should a potential student do if if I don't know, they just get rejected all the time and, and uh, he can't find a person that they that he think he or she thinks is right for them as a teacher. I mean, how do you how do you deal with that? Well, I mean, I'll, I'll go first to give Scott a little bit more time to think about it. <laughs> um, but I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, if if I wanted to find a mentor in whatever um, thing, and I got rejected uh, a lot, I, I would um, I would if I wanted to be a creature designer, I would just keep designing. Mm. I would keep improving. I would I would listen to these podcasts that give you advice. I would listen to uh, uh, techniques and I would follow my favorite people and I would make sure that I my, you know, improvement uh, is what is going to you know show people how serious I am. And, and I'll tell you a good example is um, I mean, I always say this example of, of me and Doug, uh, Doug Chang, um, you know, at the beginning, I didn't even know how to do concept. I had no clue. And I went to his office and he just would say, well, you know, he, you know, go outside, look at the portfolio. That's what I expect. Uh, and I look at it all like I can't even draw. OK, forget it. You know, but I wanted it. So then it was year after year after year after year of submitting portfolio and rejection. Rejection in the, in the sense of, oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, hope you're well <laughs> to at the end. Hey, OK, I got a job for you. And, and it's nothing more to say than persistence. If you know, honestly, it's persistence. You you have to be able to say, I want this one way or another, and I respect you, and I really would like you to help. And I think for me, like if somebody did that for me as a mentor, I would say, hmm, let's give it a shot. You know, and obviously your attitude and all that kind of stuff. But I mean, if you were persistent and you didn't um, sort of, it wasn't like a pushy kind of thing. Uh, you know, like kind of uh, expected, you know, like, hey, I, I want to pay for it. So why can't I do it? You know, kind of thing. Um, and also one thing with Scott was he never and, and you know, this may be because of my uh, <laughs> uh, uh, personality, but he didn't question what I had to say. He trusted me. And, and to have that trust uh, makes me work harder mm. as, as a mentor, because I'm like, this guy trusts me. So I'm, I'm going to make sure I don't see you wrong, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? So this, that would be my answer. You had enough time now. You go. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I mean, definitely the persistence part. And, and uh, I mean, if you are kind of on your own, it, then it's, it's just watching, watching as many podcasts or, or uh, you know, interviews with your favorite concept artists or... Uh, just totally diving into that world to the best of your own extent and knowledge, you know, and, and practicing, getting the mileage, you know, learning, seeing what programs the guys that you like are using and, and just, just trying to learn them yourself, like get as good as you can get familiar with everything. Um, and like, and just analyze and build, you know, build archives of, of, what specifically you like about you know these creatures that they that they did and and uh, or not necessarily creatures but whatever whatever uh, d they're designing. Um, but yeah, I, I just I, it's definitely like I, I think it's definitely a harder road if you you know you do have that like that stuff going against you. Um, you know, um, Scott learned a lot of the stuff that he learned on his own so yes he had a guide right but you know there's a lot you can do for yourself and uh, don't you know take like oh well, i wish i found a mentor and i i think if you haven't found one yet or you know if you've been rejected and stuff you you need to look inside and see why that's happening um and if it constantly comes with rejection 
my maybe am I like writing that email really, you know, like sort of not well and coming across, you know, badly? Uh, is it uh, is it my work? Because at some point, you know, it's like for me, I can't mentor somebody who can't even draw a stick figure. I mean, that's going to be really difficult. Mm -mm. And, and Scott wasn't at that point, right? He he was in his last year of illustration illustration program at an art school, so he can he has an understanding of drawing and form and shading and all that. It's just how to get him to look at it from a design standpoint. So from his design, he was he was green, but at least he's got tools. But I mean, if someone came to me and said, "Hey, I don't even know what drawing is," yeah, yeah, T different. Uh, it needs a different <laughs> teacher. I say go to you know go to take some basic drawing classes before yeah, we yeah, can no, talk. But, I, you know. but it's like you said, right? There's a there's a there's a particular time for the right teacher, right? Because now that if if Scott wants to progress, then he needs to find somebody who can really like who is an expert in creature design right that makes more sense exactly. now but i mean so uh, just to take a step back even further like i mean how do you even know that a mentorship is the thing you need right now like how 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 do you know that okay i mean just from the perspective of a student again like how do you know if a if a mentorship is going to be better for you than let's say uh, going to art school or or just doing it on your own Like how would you how would you what would you tell people to like to like how do how do they find out if if that is the right thing forward? I mean you can easily say like oh I I want a mentorship and then I'm going to be Superman in in six months. So a lot of people, uh, you know, use the term mentorship like it's sort of uh, this this magic pill that's like oh mm. you know like I just need to find a mentor to tell me what to do you know, yeah. and I feel like that um that's dangerous uh because that it, there is no such magic pill i think it's depends on that person right so and and i think it depends on what that person's meant to learn so some people uh will have an easier time finding a mentor because that's kind of um works with their personality right the one on one aspect mm -hmm. and the understanding of you know the personality of the person you're working with you know like that's what mentorships are good for um, and it, it's good for people who actually need to be understood a little bit more and, and someone to be a little bit more involved. If you're in a class, it's just going to be technique, right? Mm. It's going to be very rare that you're in a class and 30 people, 20 people, and you're going to get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. That's not going to happen. Um, but I think that things happen to you for a reason. And I think some people, they, you know, the class setting is good. It works. And some people mentorships if they come across can work because a lot of people are like, ah, oh, you know, I like, uh, I like X kind of, you know, like let's say I like environment design. So I'm going to go paying all the environment designers. I'm going to get a fast leg up. Usually those are the people who never really get mentorships because they just want to get it done quickly. You know, they think they're being smart, but sometimes you have to go the long road. Uh, but some people uh, also have like, Because Scott is very, uh, well, I wouldn't say very, but he's introverted. So he's already sort of grown a lot and talked a lot more than the beginning. But, you know, that t you know, it takes a mentor to kind of bring that out of you and, and to understand that that's okay, you know. Uh, and, and a lot of times in a class, you'll probably be sitting back in the class and not asking a whole lot of questions. And so they may not work as well. It depends on the personality, I think. I think, you know what, take what you can. And if a mentor comes by and it's meant to be, it'll happen. You have to try too, obviously, but it's not always a mentorship that's going to work for mm. you, you know? And of course, YouTube videos and gum roads for the self-sufficient and, and very intellectual person, they could probably figure out what videos to watch, mm. but not everybody can mm. do that. So mentors are always good. You just have to try and reach out and see sort of don't reach out to a, like a ton of people like really find somebody that maybe you've heard them speak mm, mm, mm. they they give you a special like hey man i really mm. i really connect with that yeah, person good thing. then put all your effort into that person but don't do like 20 people and go ah, let, let's see what i get back <laughs> you know like one of those like uh, i need a date you know i'm gonna 
fire off 20 emails to different different women and s see who replies. Don't do that. Mm. Really believe in that person and they'll believe in you. I mean, that's my take. What about you, Scott? Yeah, yeah. No, I think it's uh, I think it's putting yourself out there like as much as possible. Um, you know, it's it's no one's going to come knocking on your door saying like, hey, I want to, you know, I, I want to mentor you <laughs> like and, and go for like make your make your list, pick your top three and just like don't annoy them, don't bug them. But like be a consistent like, you know, mosquito in their ear, just like, hey, look, I, I, I did this. I'm growing. I really want to, you know, I really want to learn from you however I can, whatever you have to give, like whatever to do, to whatever degree, like I'll take it. Um, yeah, I think it's, I think that's the biggest thing just putting yourself out there and, and that persistence behind that. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you this, um, right at the beginning, I was still questioning whether I wanted to do this. And, and I was in Hong Kong at that time, uh, visiting Hong Kong. Uh, and, and I remember telling Scott, Hey, you know, why don't you do some figure drawings? You know, put them in a Dropbox. You know, at that time, I was trying to decide what I wanted to do with Scott. Mm -hmm. uh, if I was going to do anything, I didn't know. At that time, you know, he didn't really know exactly either what was going to happen. So, you know, I just said that, and then he just started piling them in every day. It showed me how serious mm -hmm. he was, and and I I I cannot I cannot stress it enough to be you know that really. That that made me go okay yeah I think I'm doing this because, you know, I, I you know I want I want to do this you know with somebody who's that serious because I know you're going to succeed like anybody is going to succeed anybody, right? It's you know if you can harness this is a skill you can learn, right? Drawing sculpting is a skill you can learn. And 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 but you know the creativity part everybody has too but you're going to have your own unique calling card right scott has his own unique creatures that nobody can think of because there's only one scott but the thing is you you have to really be uh persistent in your efforts too you know because you know like that's you can you know like i said anybody can learn this but you you know how is just by I truly believe it's, you know, you, you can be talented and, you know, for the people who think they're talented, they probably won't even ask for a mentor because they probably are so full of themselves that they think, oh, no problem, I can do that. Um, and that's what talented people do, though, you know, a lot of times. And that's the downfall of talent because it gives you a false sense of confidence and you don't end up working as hard as you need to. And then the person who's working hard now is coming up and going, oh, OK, <laughs> you know, and. And I think just uh, just be humble and, you know, just really, uh, uh, yeah, just work hard. Like I, I honestly, I I had no doubt he would be able to achieve this, and I had no doubt. I mean, so far, I don't think I have had one person that I've mentored not get a job. And it's not because like, wow, I'm such a great mm -hmm. mentor. It's because they, it, there was something in common was they all worked hard. And in the end, they did it. I didn't do it for them. Mm -hmm. um, I, I could have just, I just kind of pointed the way <laughs> a little bit, like that that way. Uh, and then they kind of, okay, I'll go that way. And then, oh, wow, okay, there's a job over there. Mm -hmm. It's not like I didn't do the, I didn't get the job. Um, so I, th I just think, you know, you, you can do it, but you just, it's just guidance. Mentorship is a guidance, mm -hmm. you know. And in, in art as much as in life, right? Like you said, it, in anything. And yeah. I'll, I'll tell you this. I mean, I, of all the people that I've mentored, we've all become lifelong friends. Some better than others. But, I, you know, I, I you know, it, it's you get to a point it gets really personal. Mm -hmm. you know? So, yeah, but I, I think that's the beautiful thing. And now, you know, I'm like I said, I'm really happy that that Scott's uh, doing his first job. Um and I definitely wish him luck. <laughs> are you still? <laughs> but I mean, you still know, hope, doing doing the mentorship still going on, or have you said like, okay, this is this is what we set out to do. It's done. Uh, if you need to know more, then go to Carl. Uh, is that is that it? And now you just kind of like uh, talk as peers, or how how does it how does it uh, how did you conclude the mentorship? 
Well, I'll just say that uh, uh, when it came to like my previous mentee, John mm. Guzzi, I mean, basically when he got his first job, I said, well, you're out the door. I kicked him out and that was <laughs> it. But with Scott, it's different because there was a lot of stuff we were working on right before he got this mm, job. Okay. And he still wants to work on that. So we're going to work on that. Uh, and that's what we're doing. Uh, and, and honestly, you know, it's, uh, uh, it's a scary time mm. right now for Scott. And, and why don't you tell me? I mean, you know, how do you feel now? I mean, I, you must be scared. I mean, it's, it can't be easy. Yeah, no, I'm, I mean, I'm definitely scared. <laughs> um, but it's, I mean, it is, there is like that, like I said, extra excitement and extra drive to like, you know, just pump harder now more than ever. Um, yeah, but, but yeah, it's, I definitely like can't underscore it enough. Like it's, it's scary. It's, you know, this is kind of the, like, it feels like a make or break moment. Um, do, you, just... do you feel confident in the skills that you've learned that can, you know, help you bridge that fear? Yeah, I mean, I guess the short answer is yes, but it's for me like it's. I feel like I'll get there once this project is over, and I've done it, and I, you know, I've gotten the positive feedback. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I've always been a person that's like nervous about what's gonna happen. You know, I run through a million different scenarios of how this, you know, X Y Z is gonna go, and. Uh, and I'm definitely doing that with this project. You know, there's, there's, but it, it, I think a big part of it is just like getting that like confidence and self assurance, you know, once you have, you know, that whatever that first job is under your belt. I think it never goes away, but I think the, the, the ratio of, of nervousness to just, okay, let's get this done is, is, is going to be changing once you get more experience but uh, there's uh, there's there's still like uh, i think an element of excitement and nervousness and all these kind of things um even if you have quite a few years i think under your belt um but that's okay that's cool um great. yeah well i mean is is there anything you want to say scott i mean before we wrap this up like any message any thing you want to talk about yeah i mean i i just I think to anybody who is uh, confused about where to go next or, you know, whether it's how to pursue a mentorship or what school am I going to, do I need to go to school, whatever it is, uh, I think the biggest thing is just knowing what you want. Like, it's, it, there's, I feel like that's a more common problem for a lot of mm. people is like not knowing what they want and they kind of sort of pursue this direction because they think it's what they want. Um, and I, I did that for my own reasons. Like, you know, my health was kind of a big factor in that, but I, I have a handful of people in my life who have gone through that. And I think knowing what you want and, and just like laser focus on it once you figure that out. And, uh, like nothing in this world worth having comes easy. So you got to go like 110% to pursue whatever that is. And uh, yeah, if it's, if it's, you know, if it's finding a mentor, then yeah, like narrow in on a few people and just try your hardest to like establish a connection with that or with them. Mm. Um, but yeah. Awesome. I mean, just remember, I mean, to the people out there, it's like, don't, don't let mentorships or the, the, the lack of a mentorship stand in mm, your way. Definitely. Yeah. You can do it with or without, uh, and that's it. Believe in it. And, 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 and I, like we always talk about is, you know, you get in the car, remember, you know, this one, yeah. you know where this yeah. is going, you get in the car with no destination, then you end up nowhere. You end up, you get in a car knowing you need to go where you need to go. You'll end up there eventually, even if you get lost along the way. So you got to know where you're going. So great. And, and is there any, uh, what, what are your uh, social media plugs? Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, I have an art station, Scott Gessler. Um, uh, website is www.scottgesslerdesign.com. Uh, and my Instagram handle is, uh, Scott Guess G E S S Design. Cool. 
that's it. That's all. We'll put those in the. Hey, yeah, give him a follow. Yeah. Take a look. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen his work on the Spice yeah. Show all episode, but yeah, give each other a follow and, and you know, good luck with everything. Uh, you know, I think it's. Uh, yeah, it's. I think it's gonna be an up and comer. Definitely right. So we'll put all the links in the description, of course. Um, so that people can find you and to all the companies uh, looking for creature designers, please hire Scott now. Um, he had a good mentor, right? Um, so thank you so much for, for tuning in and, and thank you so much to Scott and also Emmanuel to share their uh, both sides of the mentor-mentee um, relationship here. Um, if you like that video and uh, if you enjoyed this little conversation, please uh, let us know in the comments uh, and as usual, like, comment and subscribe. Um, to our channel um, we are heading off into a really exciting 2021 uh, i think we have a lot of stuff in store a lot of changes coming new formats to be tried out new guests to be interviewed and um, we're all hoping for um, a very productive and interesting new year so thanks again to scott um, and we'll see you guys next week bye thanks for having me guys